What is going on, obscure mic people? Bark, coming at you yet again with another microphone review video. I've been waiting a while to do this one. We've got in the studio today the Stagerite LC200 large diaphragm condenser microphone, multi-pattern condenser microphone, and when you catch this on sale you can get it for about 50 bucks otherwise it's going to run you $99.99 on mono prices website which keep an eye on there there's a lot of good stuff that sometimes gets bottomed out to a price that you just can't believe and for everything you get in the package this is one of those microphones that you kind of just can't believe let's go ahead and cut to a video real quick and talk about everything that comes in the mic Keep in mind, the audio from this will be done on the Avlex AVS-77 that I've got out of the shot on my main boom arm. All right, so everything comes in this nice metal carrying case, and you get a metal, full metal shock mount. Really nice quality shock mount. You also get a foam windscreen that looks kind of dirty. You guys know me by now. Come on. You get a nice leather pouch that's decent quality nothing terrible and then inside the leather pouch you're going to get the stage right lc 200 multi-pattern condenser microphone large large capsule there's a large diaphragm capsule in there look at that see that gold oh beautiful got a low cut filter 10 decibel pad and on the back, your cardioid figure eight and omnidirectional polar patterns. Kind of lightweight. No, you know, nothing nothing spectacular build quality wise. Grill's fine. XLR on the bottom. But overall, I mean, for the price you pay, we'll find out if it's any good. So far, besides the build quality being just kind of average on the metal, everything else is fine. So let's check it out. Okay, so before we get into uh, all the tests and stuff, let's play with some of the switches here. We've got lots of things like I showed you in the video. We've got a low cut filter, and when we engage that, this is what the microphone sounds like. So you hear a lot of that low end goes away. Not a big fan of the low cut switches. Maybe on the Aston uh, Element, is that what that is? That needs one. All right, we've re-engaged flat mode on this thing. We also have a 10 decibel pad. I'll go ahead and engage that now so you can hear what it sounds like with the 10 decibel pad engaged. Now let's go ahead and check out the polar patterns here. I'm pretty sure I'm on cardioid. Yeah, we're on cardioid. So I'm going to go ahead and switch to the figure eight pattern. All right, I'm on the figure eight pattern now. So no matter what I'm doing here on the microphone, I should be able to twist this all the way around and get sound out of the rear end as well and of course as usual it sounds a little bit different than the front i think it's a tad bit more dull and reserved and then we've got omnidirectional here takes a second for that to kick in but now we've got omnidirectional which also sounds a good bit different but no matter where i spin the microphone you can hear me just about the same omni figure eight and cardioid we're going to go back to cardioid real quick and again, it does take a second for those polar patterns to engage a little bit. Not anything crazy. Sorry if I'm handling the mic. Let's go ahead and do some resonant frequency since I'm handling the mic and tap on it so you can hear what it sounds like. It is a very thin, cheapish metal. I've got it in the Inno Gear shock mount. I didn't use the provided shock mount because, nah, you know, it's nice, it's metal, but it's just like all the other ones you can get like that. So I just figured I would bypass on that. I... This is my boom arm. This is my shock mount of choice. It's five bucks. We'll go ahead and pound on the table so you can see if any of that comes through. Pound on the boom arm all the way down. Cheap metal boom arm. Super long though, that's what she said. <laughs> Eddie, okay. Let's go ahead and do some other tests. I'm gonna throw some plosives into the front of this thing. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickle pineapple pizza. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickle pineapple pizza. That actually didn't seem to be so bad. And let me say real quick, the sound is also not bad. I, I mean, a stage right mono price microphone. Uh, this one's on its way out the door, thanks to the dude on Reverb that bought it from me. 
Mr. Salazar. I appreciate it. He's going to throw another capsule in it. Hopefully I can get some video or footage or test clips or something from him and I'll upload a YouTube short uh, from his work because that's how I roll if he wants to. Let's go ahead and get on top of the microphone when you're right on top of the LC200 from Stage Right. This is what it sounds like when you're right on top of the LC200 from Stage Right. This is what it sounds like. Kind of impressive. The proximity effect sounds pretty good too. Overall, man, not bad so far. Let's go ahead and see off-axis rejection and cardioid mode. Talking into the front of the microphone. Now I'm talking into the side of the microphone. Talking into the rear of the microphone. Talking into the other side of the microphone. Sorry for the noise. Back around to the front of the microphone. I mean, I guess my cable's short. So sue me. Not my best recording. It's fine. But the point of this channel is to find mics you may not have heard of and let you hear them to see if you want them. And let me say, I was very skeptic of this LC200 microphone from Stage Right by Monoprice. And while it's not perfect by any means, it actually sounds pretty damn good considering I paid 50 bucks for it. And with everything you get in that package I showed you, that's kind of hard to beat, man. Find it on sale. $49.99. That's what I paid for this. Again, it's $100 right now. But holy, holy hell, it doesn't sound too bad at all. I'm going to go ahead and throw some compression on it, and I'm going to bump the bottom end up just a tiny bit to give you a little more of that broadcasty sound in 3, 2, 1. There's the compression that is on, so that's what that sounds like. Now let's go ahead and add a little bit of low end just to give a little more oomph to the bottom end of my voice. There's what that sounds like. And for the sake of knowing, let's add just a tiny bit of mids right now, just like that. So now we've got a boost in the low and a boost in the mids. I don't find this to be particularly harsh up top. So let's add a little top and see what happens there if the clarity pops out a little bit. So I've got a little bit going each direction, low, mid, and high. I'm going to go ahead and set the high back to unity. I'm going to set the mids back to unity. I'm going to set the low end back to unity. And this is the natural sound in the microphone again. Just for the sake of knowing, I'm going to take a tiny bit off the top end. Maybe see if that sizzle comes off just a little. So I've got it turned down just a few decibel. And this is what it sounds like. Huh. I do have some noise coming through. I didn't notice it at first. Might be the cheap cable I'm using, might be the microphone, might be the mixer. Hard to tell. Let me turn compression off. Dims down a little bit there with compression off, but anyways, the thing about these monoprice mics, I did the stage right ribbon microphone. From reading reviews, those are hit and miss. Sometimes they sound great, sometimes they have a lot of interference. This mic it could be the same situation. You might get a dud. You might get one that's perfect. My ribbon mic is perfect. I've read about a lot of people getting duds. This sounds pretty good. Slight bit of hum somewhere. Not sure what that's coming from. But this one's sold. But I'll probably buy another one when it comes back out. This is when it goes back down to 50. Because this is pretty kind of impressive. Assuming that electronic interference isn't coming from the mic. I guess I could turn my gain down a little bit too. No. No, it's still there no matter what I do. Anyways, LC200, I can't quite give it the green light just yet until I figure out what that low level hum is. But if I can figure that out, I will revisit in a short and let you know because right now, it's a pretty impressive buy. LC200's out, stage right microphone's out, bark is out, peace out.